you ever tried the putting green at Beacon Hill Park? I have. It's just, yeah, it, it is. It's tough. It's in great shape, too. Mm -hmm. All right, time for sports. Mara's here with uh, something else that's challenging. This is incredibly challenging, uh, Hudson. You know, completing one marathon, just one in a lifetime, is considered a huge accomplishment. Well, now imagine attempting seven marathons in seven days. Well, two Victoria runners are doing just that as Jordan Cunningham tries to catch up with Donald and Rob. You may recognize this duo from their days of running around Beacon Hill Park training for the Gobi March, the grueling race through China's Gobi Desert. This time, Rob Mackay and Donald Peterson are taking marathon running to the extreme here at home. People have run endless marathons before, but never in Victoria. They're running the Royal Victoria Marathon route seven times in seven days, finishing up on Sunday, October 11th, when they lace up with thousands of other runners on race day. We're hoping for seven sub-four-hour marathons, and uh, we'll just take them one day at a time, but day one will probably be okay. <laughs> day two will probably be okay. What's going to be the hardest day? I think day three or day four, um, running past the same Starbucks. And uh, yeah, so that, that's going to be the hard part. Pounding the pavement requires different preparation than a foot race across the desert, so they've enlisted the help of Victoria's CrossFit Zone. This is 42K straight every single day running on asphalt, and asphalt is hard on your body. So we're using this as a way to supplement our, our running and get us stronger. It's our first time in here. They were like, I just cannot believe that I've been reduced to this level on the ground in a pile of sweat. I'm humbled every time I come in, every single time. Like, I don't think I've ever sweat this much in my life. And here's the proof. Donald's sweat angel is testament to his hard work, but one wonders why two men might push themselves to their physical brink for a week straight. Donald is a single dad and knows firsthand the impact big brothers and big sisters can have on a family. The money raised from the run goes straight to the charity. At the end of the project, we're hoping to be, have about $10,000 for Big Brother Big Sisters. All to get up and over their fundraising bar, Rob and Donald are inviting people here to CrossFit on Wednesday for a workout by donation. Now, extreme marathoning doesn't have to be your goal, but expect an extremely good workout with all the proceeds going to Big Brothers and Big Sisters. They help families like me out every day of the week. And there's such a great need for it in our community. It's a $5 suggested donation. You get to try out CrossFit. And just getting awareness out there for big brothers and big sisters and let people realize sort of what these guys are doing and what kind of training that they're doing and going to get them there. In Victoria, Jordan Cunningham, A-Sports. Nicely done, Jordan. Well, one day after.